What's up guys, welcome to another book review episode on my channel. Today I will be talking about the book Algorithms to Live By. This is a really cool book about how we decide based on computer algorithms. It's so goddamn cool to know about. This book is published in 2016 from Brian Christians and Tom Griffith. And definitely I would recommend this book to anyone who is studying computer science or is interested in human decision making. This book is generally about how we can decide better in life using methods that we use in computers to help them decide better using less energy. Deciding better doesn't imply that we have to choose the best option, but instead we have to choose the optimal option. It means given the limited amount of time that we have, we should choose the best option in that given time. Because all the difficulty of decision making comes to the fact that we have limited amount of time to decide. If the time was constant, well, decision making didn't make sense at all. Time actually matters and this is why we have to be good at decision making. But there comes a problem. If you read Kahneman's book, Thinking Fast and Slow, you know that deciding too fast brings with itself lots of errors because it has risen out of our system one, our intuition, not our logic. What this book tries to tell us is how we can decide intuitively and logically at the same time, kind of like mixing our system one and system two together to get the optimal decision at the time. In this case, this book gives us many methods and principles to use in our real life situation to decide optimally. And hear me out, honestly, this book gives you lots of methods and principles to use. You only have to put it into practical use, okay? That's so important. For example, you want to buy a house and you have hundreds of options to choose from and you're confused. What should I do? How many houses should I see? before buying. Mathematicians and computer scientists tells us that there's a rule for this that gives you the optimal probability of choosing the best option in this situation, which is called 37% rule or optimal stopping. It means when we should stop searching and actually do the job. In this case, consider that you have 10 options for buying a house. This rule, 37% rule, tells us that you should search for 37% of that 10 option, which would be about 3 or 4 options, without even buying. You just search for 3 or 4 houses at first to just get a base information and calibrate your thoughts about buying a house. And after you searched about 37% of those options, you should act upon immediately on the next option available. This rule helps us to get an optimal decision and increase the probability of choosing the best option. Or in another case, the book tells us about another principle that we can use to decide better, which is called relaxation. Okay, you don't have to meditate to decide better. No, it's not about that. I'm serious, it's computer science, it's not about meditation, spirituality, no. Relaxation means that we should not complicate our mind by entering so much data into it. But we think if we want to decide better, we should consume as much data as we can. But it's completely wrong. In computer science, we have an algorithm to just punish every process that complicates a situation. This is how important that we should not get a situation too much complicated. So in order to decide better, we should regularize. It means to simplify any complex situation in our head. Well, we are lucky in this situation because this is how we are hardwired to think. When we want to decide, we tend to not overthink about a situation. We do not consider every factor when we want to decide. And here's the truth. This is good. You know, this is optimal. Let's put it that way. It's not the best thing to do, as Kahneman says, because it's risen out of our system one, but it is the optimal way of deciding. When we decide based on our intuition, we do not make a situation too much complex. But when we decide based on our logic, we tend to complicate our situation by considering so many factors. Although remember that science, which is based on our logic and our system two, 
tend to believe that there is a principle called Occam's razor. It means that we should always consider the simplest and easiest explanation of a complex situation. But anyways, optimal way of decision making is not the best way of decision making. But it is the best way of decision making considering the limited amount of time that we have. Alright okay guys, thank you for watching. I should definitely recommend this book to anyone who is interested about computer science algorithms. And this book really, I mean really, is going to be useful if you put it to practical use. I wrote a summary out of this book and concisely explain each principle and method that will help us decide better. So if you want to get it, check out my website and subscribe to my newsletter and I will send you the link to my PDF summary. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, keep it safe and I will see you. Bye-bye. Peace out. And after you search for 35, and after you search for and after you searched about 30 and after you searched about th Bruh.